Hey girls, today we're going to talk about voice in our writing. Let's go ahead and take notes in the craft section of our writing notebooks because voice is all about craft, all about having the best possible style. So the goals for this video today are to define voice, to answer where the question, where does voice come from? And thirdly, to think about what is the effect of voice? Why do we want it in our writing? So first, let's go ahead and define voice. Voice is this distinct personality, style, or point of view of a piece of writing or any other creative work. And because each of us has a unique personality, each of us has a unique voice in writing, and that's what makes our writing unique. The trick that we're working on is letting that voice, letting that personality come through in our writing. And that only happens if we make different choices in our writing than other writers make in theirs. Choices that reflect who we are inside, our original thoughts and personal feelings, our particular way of seeing things and interpreting them, and writing it all down. So here's a quick example of voice. So these are two newspaper headlines, both of which were published when Ike Turner died. You may not know, but Ike Turner is Tina Turner's husband, and they had a very um, domestically abusive relationship. So he, was, he had very publicly, physically abused Tina Turner. So when Ike Turner died, the New York Times, which is, you know, a kind of stuffy academic newspaper, wrote the headline, Ike Turner, musician and songwriter in duo with Tina Turner, dies at 76. Okay, so very forward, very straight to the point. The New York Post, which is a tabloid newspaper, so it's really um, kind of sensational, had the headline, Ike beats Tina to death. So you can see there's a little pun there about music and also about the physical abuse of their relationship. It's a much different voice. It's a much different personality that comes through just in that headline. So where does voice come from in our own writing? It comes from three areas as far as I can tell. Firstly, choice. Second, having strong opinions. And third, having details. So the first thing is that we really want to care about is choice. And that's when we really care about our topic, when we have a really strong attachment to it, when we're writing for a particular purpose. So that's the first area we want to think about. Secondly, we want to have a strong opinion that comes through in our piece. You want to be able to tell exactly how the writer feels. And thirdly, we want to include a lot of details, nothing general, nothing generic. We want real examples. We want real evidence. We want strong, specific words, and we want strong, descriptive verbs. So that means using adjectives and adverbs and all of our um, vocabulary from our vocabulary books. Ultimately, voice is all about the feelings. Our feelings our feelings about things are what tend to make us unique. So if we want our writing to be unique, we have to communicate strong feelings. Think about it. If everybody felt the same way about everything, we'd all tend to do and say things the same way. There wouldn't be much difference from one person to another, and our writing wouldn't be very different either. Our feelings about things are what tend to make us unique. So if we want our writing to be unique, we have to communicate those strong feelings. So think about our most recent writing assignment, the Diva Speech Assignment. What are the feelings that you want to express and what are the feelings you want to evoke in the listener, the people who you're talking to? Write those ideas down and then use those ideas to guide your choices when you're crafting your sentences and the style of your essay. Ultimately, we know that we've achieved good voice when we have something that is individual, authentic, and original. When I read something by my favorite writers, I often have the feeling that no one else could have written it. In most good writing, the individuality of the writer comes through. We sense this individuality when we're picking up on the writer's voice. Authenticity is what makes a writing sound real. Sometimes things sound phony or they sound stilted and awkward. Uh, authenticity is like honesty and it's part of what makes a writer's style their own. You want it to be consistent, uh, but you also want to sound like you're getting a sense for who the person is. You're getting to know them by reading their writing. And lastly, we want our writing to be original. We can tell, we can judge a writer's voice by how original the writing seems. To say that something is original is to say that we haven't seen it before. So that's what I'm looking to hear from in your piece. So that's really our definition of voice for today. I look forward to hearing your voices in our Diva Project speech assignment. Thanks, girls.